Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I've got what is probably the best elevator ever made. It's only 6 blocks per layer in volume, travels at an amazing speed of 20 meters per second and has a down function in, uh, in the form of jumping down the shaft and landing on a slime block. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the best elevator you can possibly build. Uh, it does have a little couple of drawbacks though, it deals a tiny bit of damage, like half a heart if you use it in survival. Um, that's not really a big deal, I would say. Also, it's not quite multiplayer friendly, I don't think, so you might want to test build it before building th this type of gigantic structure right here. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool design. I mean, I, didn't, I came up with it pretty quickly. <laughs> I just had the idea, and I was pretty surprised that it actually goes this fast. Building this elevator is remarkably easy. All you need is a shaft, with starting with furnaces with a slime block in the ground and a sticky piston facing up. Then have blocks here then have a block here uh, with a piston in line then a sort of shape of furnaces like this with a slime block on the piston uh, and then basically just repeat the pattern up so blocks, uh, then block, piston, block, uh, furnace, slime blocks uh, furnace or doesn't have to be furnace, it can be any unpushable block um, I guess jack-o'-lanterns would work because they also provide a light uh, might want to consider that and then just that again and obviously to repeat this up all you need to do is place another a set of blocks with a piston with a slime block and then have some non-pushable blocks like so. So then you just need to do the front part with the yeah the front part of the elevator. So you want a non-pushable block here and then this is your floor level uh, and then this is where the actual sort of like main front wall would be. So what I would do is have like where the non-pushable blocks are have some obsidian um, and build it up like that and then you can put anything you want so I think black glass looks quite good, yeah, that's great I think that what am I doing? <laughs> I think the black stained glass looks pretty cool here and that yeah, looks probably the best and then just make the walls out of whatever you want, I'm going to use quartz for this particular aesthetical, aesthetical? aesthetic design so once you've got that, you can begin the wiring. This is probably the easiest part. So you want to place uh, a button on one of the sides of the elevator, uh, like so, with some redstone like this, <coughs> uh, and then a slab, and a, then a block up like so, with redstone coming along the way into a block with a redstone torch, and then Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, you also want to have sticky pistons on all of the backs of all the slime blocks. Uh, so yeah, do that. And then you want to, as I s oh god, <laughs> fail. And then, as uh, I said, you want to come up with redstone torches. And you need to place every other one twice to stop it from pulsing. That's an awkward stretch across my keyboard. My scroll wheel is kind of dodgy, so I don't like scrolling, so I've got to sort of keep <laughs> pressing one and eight all the time. Uh, so yeah, that's that wiring done. And then you just want to have repeaters here on four ticks, which will cause these pistons to pulse. Like so. And last one. Like that. And now you just need to power the bottom piston, so you can do that with the repeater on one tick. And that's you. It's so simple, it's probably the most simple elevator ever and uh, okay that time it failed it does occasionally lag out but yeah there we go it works now we know you'll notice we get bounced like crazy up at the top so so all we have to do to fix that is make a little archway this will be like the way out um, this can be like a furnace if you want because then this will be your, your, your new ground level and you can place a block here and here I guess and have a piston push you out and uh, for that you can just have two ticks using redstone torches like so and that's you you have a fully functional super compact 20 meter per second up and down elevator as you can see so if you enjoyed the video uh, please click the like button if you want to see more feel free to subscribe any suggestions feedback comments criticism anything you would like to see please do leave a comment but that's all for today my name is michael thanks for watching and i'll see you later goodbye